Hello, this is Marcus Tool, and I'm in my garden, and it is, I believe, April 1st, could be April 2nd, I think it's April 1st, um, 2020, and uh, <laughs> we're still sort of uh, on this uh, forced vacation caused by COVID-19. Um, I have my um, just sort of giving an update on my garden. I've uh, this little plum tree. This is a uh, um, flea market plum, and I have uh, it's gotten as tall as I wanted to get before it uh, begins branching, and so I've nipped the top of it so that uh, some branches come out. I know a lot of people would have them be a, be a lot taller than this, uh, but uh, I prefer to have. Um, plums branching fairly close to the ground you know within a couple of feet within a foot or so of the ground and that way your branches where the plums are are lower down and easier to pick uh, I have some peppers growing next to it uh, a couple of um, eggplants that I planted uh, over here between these two uh, poles I'm gonna plant sweet potatoes if I get the site prepared uh, before um, uh, before we're locked down and I can't get to the store to get the sweet potatoes, um, that could happen on account of this uh, epidemic. And probably from a health perspective, it probably ought to happen. Uh, this row here is, uh, most of the row is uh, uh, Roma green beans. Or, uh, and then this row here has got a couple of Irish potatoes and then carrots kind of at that end, the far end. Um, they're actually looking really good. I planted them in the fall. And they didn't do much through the winter, but they're really growing now, so uh, maybe they will do something. Uh, this is a row of blackberry plants, and I planted uh, some brown eye peas on each side of them. And I have some, uh, this is rutabaga. I don't think I'm going to get any roots on these rutabaga, but uh, the leaves are nice and healthy and I've been eating on them and they're actually quite delicious. Uh, very similar to turnip, turnip greens, uh, just regular turnip greens. Um, this row here is also planted in, in blackberry and on each side of that row are uh, black-eyed peas. So I'll have a row of brown-eyed peas black -eyed, and another row of black-eyed peas. Uh, both of these are field peas, are, um, are types of field peas, and um, are kind of a late summer or midsummer uh, vegetable. Uh, I like them a lot anyway. Uh, let's mosey on to this part of the yard. The blackberries are still blooming. Uh, the grapevines have broken dormancy and they're going to be blooming soon. Uh, got lots of flower buds on the orange trees. Few orange, uh, fair crop on some of the pear trees. Not all of the pear trees, but some of the pear trees. Great crop on the blueberry bushes. Uh, it was supposed to rain yesterday. We got a little bit of rain, but not enough to even see in a rain gauge. Uh, and it's not supposed to rain now for a week or more. And so. Uh, beginning to be awfully dry that that could be a problem especially for the blueberries and uh, with everything shut down I'm kind of scared to do a lot of watering because you don't know what the income's going to be like uh, three months from now but I will ha I will do some watering if I have to but uh, that sure does get expensive when you live in the city now, these are some um, sweet peppers that I planted over the other peppers that I showed you are the are the hot peppers um, anyway, that's where it stands. Thanks. God bless. Bye.